Today lecture, I am going to discuss about calculate execution time method in csop.net. So let's see the codes. So first here, writing var and uh, this place giving the name v1. And after that, creating the object with the help of new keyword and uh, they are going to write here a stop watch. Okay, a stop watch going to use. So this is the method. Now, when I added this a stopwatch, automatically system dot diagnostic namespace that uh, added here. Because uh, the dependency or the inside code of the stopwatch method that comes inside system dot diagnostic ma uh, namespace. After that, now let's write here v1 and press the dot. Then you can get to a different method start stop restart reset so this place going to uh, use your start method after that let's use your for loop and uh, going to take here integer item variable and uh, the next is here we need uh, you should give the condition higher then you can uh, get the was stamps after that, the next is let's write here console class dot write line method and here going to print the value of i. After that, the next is here v1 and press the dot then uh, we need to uh, stop this one. So uh, stop this uh, was stamps and after that, the next is we need, uh, we need to print to uh, whatever the things. So here, the next is console dot right line, and uh, here we need to use uh, first is dollar, and inside the double quote, going to write execution times. execution times printing the execution time exactly and after that let's use your curly bracket and v1 press start then you can get here elapse and print the elapse in millisecond so let's use your millisecond and after that to uh, let's use your ms millisecond for ms and uh, uh, that's it about this code so with the help of this code we can get here cal uh, execution times of a method so now let's uh, run and execute to and here you can see this uh, displaying execution time 1001 millisecond and uh, since here we need to use uh, this uh, on the same lines so going not going to use the right line method so now here you can see 24 millisecond or oh, it's a display okay so one time going to repeat this call so here where now v1 is the object or local variable created with the help of new stopwatch method so with the help of this stopwatch method initialize a new instance of stopwatch and if you like to know more details so right click then click on this code definition a stopwatch here you can see restart summary this is used to start resume mentioning elapsed time for an interval okay so this comes under system diagnostic a stopwatch or namespace okay now after that the next is here v1 that called a start method and after that for loop that i'm using so loop continue till uh, thousand times and thereafter when this is a stop place and this is the stop place and uh, whatever the time that's taken this display here by the help of this v1 dot elapse uh, millisecond so I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.